now that Ellie Mae is dematted and ready to head out into the day, she's in quite a lot of hair. So I'm gonna put a little puppy top knot in. So you could use this for like a puppy top knot tutorial. Um, and I'm gonna use it for ice on ice. So I like to do a little split with my puppy. So I'm gonna use my bone comb. I'm just gonna part right down the center of her skull, get a nice part down to the skin. And I'm gonna have a couple of these big wrapping bands ready to go. And then I'm just gonna take a little section over each eye. So I'm gonna part from one side of the skull to the other behind the eye, like about a finger behind the eye. So I have a finger behind the eye, all the, so here's her eye, a finger width past the eye. I parted the hair all the way across the skull. You can see the part line there. And then again, right down the center of her eyes, like that. So I have these two little sections. I'm gonna take my rubber band and I use a wrapping size band, unless this is a toy or mini, I use them even on my puppies. And I go around the hair three times. And then I make sure it's nice and loose, it's not pulling her eye at all. And then I do the same to the other side. I take the rubber band around three times. And then make sure it's nice and loose and not pulling the eye. And then I might give her a little horns so that she can see three times around. I like to make sure that my band spacing is nice and even. Okay, so now that we've done that, now I'm going to show you how to use the Ice on Ice Ultra. Um, conditioning and dematting spray to prevent mats coming in the future. So right after the bath, after I have her little top knot in, I'm gonna just simply line comb her. And some people like to part the hair to the skin with like a knitting needle or a big bone comb like this. You can certainly do that. Then a light spray with the Ice on Ice Ultra is just gonna help prevent future matting. So I'm gonna take the next section down to the skin and then light spray with the ultra give it a comb to make sure that I've checked my work and then this is how we're going to prevent matting coming in the future of course you're gonna to have to check for that clumping as soon as they start to clump you're gonna to have to go back to your you know either going through them with the dryer on cool or the full bath I mean whenever you can absolutely full bath them as soon as they are getting clumpy getting clumpy that's your sign that they need a bath and if the bath was the last bath was two days ago i apologize they're going through a coat change but they it still needs to be done you will thank yourself because you'll just lose less coat and it'll take you less time so you could use the ice on ice just as a little finishing spray but it really does help cut down on the matting coming back so i like to use the ice on ice detangling spray ready to use when i am taking apart a mat and I like to use this to prevent matting. So I hope that helped. So I'm Allison and that was uh, the end of our tutorial on dematting. Basically um, any drop coated breed, any poodle scissored type coat, um, and a lot of even your double coated breeds, this is how the same method that I would use to demat them and the same tools, right? Like I'm still going to use the Big G, the Ice Slip, I'm still gonna use these products on them. The hair might look slightly different, but it is the same technique, going from the biggest, so breaking it up with your fingers, going to the ice slip and the big G, then at the end, going to a regular pin brush and any comb to, will check your work. You could use a poodle comb, any coarse fine comb, any coarse comb, any comb at all. I just use the Jill for everything. I like to show how versatile it is. And then bada bing, bada boom, dematted dog. So thank you so much for joining us for another Leading Edge Dog Show Academy course. We will see you soon.